Welcome back to another Drum Magazine Groove Analysis Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a cool polyrhythm groove from the song Crossbar. And the notation for this can be found on page 49 of the April 2016 issue of Drum Magazine. If you're looking at that Crossbar excerpt, take a look at the second line. This is the bass groove throughout this excerpt. Herlin Riley does use some variations though, but this is the bass groove. For a quick and simple explanation, a polyrhythm is when you have... Uh, two different rhythms going on at the same time. So for example, the bass drum part, if I just play it, it sounds like this. The hi-hat part, it's cool, we've got a hi-hat splash, and then two uh, just regular strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got this rhythm against this. And the left stick does this. And then the right stick is actually played on a cowbell, but I don't have a cowbell set up today, so I'm going to use the ride bell. The groove's very versatile, though, and I'll go over some different things you can do with it, so it still sounds cool on the ride bell. If you're thinking about all those things separately and just trying to put them together, it's going to be difficult to do. So you want to think about each stroke as one movement. So, for example... Uh, when I learned this, I knew that on beat one, I had to have a foot splash, bass, and then uh, the ride in this case, or the cowbell. So once you get used to that, you add in the second. And the second stroke, you know, think of it all together, is the ride bell, the rim knock, and then the regular hi-hat foot stroke. And you just do that until you're comfortable. And each step along the way, just keep adding one more. So I'll play this groove slowly. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and Now something you can do with this groove is move it around to different surfaces. So you can play the same exact groove, but say move your right stick to a high time. I even think it's cool if uh, you play those one, two, three, and. I think that's the rhythm. And you can even uh, move the right stick to the hi-hat, and uh, you still have this flash going on. It creates an interesting pattern. Remember, it's the same hand movements, we're just moving it to a different surface. So there's a lot that you can do with this groove by just using that uh, polyrhythmic pattern, moving it around the drum. I hope you enjoyed this month's drum lesson. If you come up with any cool variations of this polyrhythm, share it with us. Have a great month of drums. Keep drumming.